don't think your party's cool, Bobby. No, I'm having fun. Your wife divorced you. My future starts today. Look at this file cabinet they're throwing out at the office. Your dad is white trash. <laughs> Mild deception is the lowest form of tomfoolery. Hey, Bobby! You were so right. I was? I ditched, and it felt so good to ditch, I ditched the whole day. Hey, I might ditch tomorrow. Bobby, do something! Julie, I don't think you want to beat up Randy. I think you just want someone to notice your new shoes. They are pretty nice. They're new. Uh -huh. Don't you want to let him go? Bobby, you saved Randy's life. Hey, Bobby, your mom's going to teach sex ed. Yeah, I know. We're going to get to see her boobs. So? Bobby, you're up. Come on, Bobby. Your dad lost his job. This party's boring. Everybody hates you. What is this? It's a fashion show for plus-size boys. There's going to be music and a fog machine, and it all goes to benefit the schools. Plus, free donuts. We'll do it for the schools. <laughs> Hey, where do these go? Right here is fine. Attack. Look out! It's the Illinois Volunteer Infantry. Hop on, General. I stole your fake leg. Ah, oh. oh, well, that was beautiful. That was just inspired. Your dad got blown up. In the first round, the Dallas Cowboys select Bobby Hill, left tackle. <laughs> hey, Dad. I told you my dad was a fireman. He's a volunteer. Oh, Dad! We're muddy. Could you hose us off? Sure. I'll open up the hydrant. <sighs> Dale, the hydrants are for fire emergencies. They don't know how to open the hydrant. Because they're volunteers. Son? You're about to get very, very wet. Uh, a substitute. Attack. Quien está tirando los darts de nerf? Está Dooley, Senor Hill. Senor Dooley, bang up. You're dead. En español, por favor. To Eris Muerto. Muy bien. Señor Dooley, esta mi asistente especial. Bueno, esta es mi cabeza. Este es mi pilo. Mi pilo es castaño. Stop it! I know what you are doing and just stop it. En español, por favor. Clase! Atenzione! Atenzione, Clase, please! Give me your watches. Come on, give it to me. I am not joking, you two. I pulled your pants down. even spank our dog not that your son is worse than our dog because he's not and we have a very very good dog so that speaks volumes for your son mrs hill please we should apologize to you i'm sure Stuart deserved it we know what a handful he can be well what are you saying you did good that's the bell buenos dias class a Senor Dooley, I thought you were suspended. 
I thought you were fired. <laughs> Fine. All you children are interested in is punishment, so I will teach you about punishment with this. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, oh yeah! <gasps> Spain, 1478. The weapon of choice, the mace. It was the beginning of the Spanish Inquisition. Even though it was begun with the best of intentions, a number of very nice, innocent people were brutally punished. And without a doubt, the worst thing about the Spanish Inquisition was that nobody ever said they were sorry. How were they punished? Oh, all kinds of awful ways. Like what? Well, sometimes they would strike you with one of these. Sometimes they would make you lie on a bed of spikes and then pour boiling oil on you. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they would tie your arms and legs to four different horses and tear you apart. Cool. But I only saw one set of footprints because God was holding me. Peggy, I'm sorry, I didn't... Thou shalt not speak to me. I'll be happy to entertain any questions. Yes, you. Will your toe be better in time for the dance? I'm sorry, Connie. I was pointing to the gentleman behind you. Answer the question. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I was pointing in front of you to Joseph. Are you taking Connie to the dance? I'm sorry. I think we've run out of time. You ready? <laughs> All right. I have a client in here. I am trying to tutor, so cool it down. Okay. Water. Agua. Perfect. Good boy. Bowling's on me. We can steal shoes. Unduly. You got soaked. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of carnival is this? Well, it's a poor village. They can't afford the rides. But they do have a petting zoo. All right. Polo por u. Polo por u. <laughs> Oh, Herman, everything is under control. Relax. Have a chicken. I don't know. Maybe I could hold just the one. Pollos, mis pollos. Deme los pollos. Oh, okay, okay. He would like his chickens. And judging from his costume, I think he's getting ready for a show. <laughs> My chicken is the star of the show. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of pearl. That's, everything's fine. Um, you have just watched one of my favorite Mexican magic tricks. And now, as his volunteer assistant, I will complete the illusion. Olay! I drank the water. Ah, uh ah. -uh. In espanol. Tu eres puerca. Ah, oh, muy bueno. You totally didn't have to do that for me, and you totally did. You totally rock. That took courage. Who wants to fall in love? Cupid is here. He's got one arrow left, and it's going straight into Connie Supanusenpone's heart. Bobby's right. <laughs> You shot her in the eye. Oh, gross! You licked it! What are you doing? You're ruining my party! What? You wouldn't even be having this party if it wasn't for me. You'd just be sitting alone going, Dude, like, I'm so bleh. Watch it! You're pulling off the wings! Let go! I'm not 
leaving. I am not leaving unless Connie leaves with me. Bobby! Here's your ass pad, son. Your lunch money had a Canadian quarter. Hey, Dooley, that little squirt's not bothering you. Now, if you want to see an annoying little squirt. <clears throat> You've got dust coming out of your butt. Come on, Bobby, you've proved your point. You're weirding me out. Allow me to turn the other cheek. How long have they been in there? Four minutes. I hope they have enough air. I don't hear the sounds of exercise. Dude, lick your hand and spank her! Do you have enough air? I want to go home. your peer group about your virginity. I am not having sex until at least my sophomore year at Harvard. You heard her. Not until our sophomore year at Harvard. Your virginity is in danger now. You need to sign this abstinence pledge card before you discover how wonderful sex feels. Keep talking. Okay, um, in addition to heaven, there are other benefits to this pledge. You get a 10% discount on CDs, movies, bowling, and video games. And a free MP3 player if you sign up 10 other virgins. I saw the panties. Just count the tiles. One, two... That's my soap. Three, four... <laughs> No hats in the lunchroom, Dooley. Take it off. I'll die in these horns. Dooley's gonna pant Santa? Dang, I can't go. Make sure the elves take plenty of pictures. Let me in, Bobby. I have a peppermint. Ah! How could you there, Christmas? It's reasonable not to want someone to die in your house. You weren't invited. Mm. Tell me more about jail. Just go home, son. Dad, Dooley ran away from home. He left a note with only two words. I'm gone. So Dooley ran away. Mm -mm -mm. I am not the least bit surprised. There is no way you can keep a lid on that powder keg they call a family. I thought you and Melinda Dooley were friends. Yeah. Melinda and I took different paths. Let's just say her clothes weren't the only thing that got casual on Fridays. I will leave it at that. Her values. I wonder where that boy is. If I were him, I'd find myself a nice culvert to crawl into. Somewhere in Oklahoma where the police treat you like a human being. Uh, okay. Poor Melinda. It all went downhill for her after she married that Tim Dooley. Well, because she had to. Poor thing. First everything else in her life, and now this. Welcome, parents. We're confronting a serious and difficult issue. Thank God we got a speaker to tell us what to do. Here he is, fresh from the Montel Williams Show, Arthur Stevens Davies. Good evening. First, let me extend my condolences to the Dooley family and the Arlen community. We must ask ourselves why this happened. Allow me to quote from my book. The nuclear family has suffered a meltdown. If you don't have a close-knit family, then every member of your family is at risk.
Well, hello, Melinda. Peggy, I see you found your son. We were all worried. Sarcasm. Well, two can play at that game. Cute baby. Sorry we can't stay and chat. We have an appointment with Ron. I have three months allowance saved up. It's all yours if you just run away for a little while. You have an hour. Hey, Tim. How's, uh, how's your boy? Dooley? Okay. Dooley! I've got a five-pound medicine ball in this head and a ten-pound medicine ball in this head. If you were to multiply the weightage of both balls together, what would you get? I pass. Oh, for... Ah! Excellent fine motor skills, Dooley. You're the class super-duper champ of the morning. Excuse me, I'm Hank Hill, Bobby's father. You must be Mr. Turkelson. Yes. Can I help you? Feel free to wet yourself. The splash at the bottom will cover your shame. Your dad's so cool. I don't know why my parents hate him. Well, there's a six-person maximum on this ride, park rule. But, but my girlfriend's on that ride. Oh, man, that's totally a make-out ride. You can't leave her alone with Dooley. Do something, Bobby! Excuse me, sir. We are special needs children, and we are required by state law to stay with our buddies at all times. Oh, uh, okay, go ahead. It has begun! Look at me! I'm flim surfing! That is so cool. Dude, I can do it too! We're approaching the bottomless pit drop. Brace yourselves! Oh. Like prom queen Mary is back. Who's prom queen Mary? The ghost of a former Tom Landry prom queen. She was decapitated when a basketball hoop collapsed under the weight of too much crepe paper. Every prom season, she comes back. She still wants to dance. The headless prom queen is back! What else could it be? Move along, kids. You want to have a conversation? Do it in the back of class. Principal boss. Have you heard anything about Tom Landry being haunted by a headless prom queen? No, he had a couple of kids choke on erasers, but no hauntings. I'd probably remember something like that. What is your heritage? Dutch. The Dutch. Windmills, wooden shoes, apartheid. 
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Joseph likes to watch.